hello and welcome to another video so today i'm gonna show you how to make a simple title clip template like this one now it's simple i'll be making it with kden live so first thing first we have these two bars these two bars and then there's the text in the middle with a, a bit of background and then there's the background so now of all these three things first we need to make this red bars over here so for that i'll go to gimp and inside the game we need to make the bar and that bar should measure by width by width should be 50 50 pixels and the height should be 300 so let's make a canvas here of um, 300 by 300 300 by 300 and the background should be red then now I'll go to select the selection tool rectangular I'll draw a rectangle and make sure the dimensions are 50 by 300 so let's position it anywhere as long as it's touching the top and the bottom then after selection right click on the background over here add alpha channel go to image and crop to selection and there we have our bar is 50 by 300 then I will export export as PNG so here is our bar now we need two of these so I will right click and duplicate rename this one to be red line 1 then I rename the second one to be red line 2 now let's go to Kden live And let's start I'll add my two two red lines they had music so red line one and two okay I have them and then next I will add uh, let's let's add a text title title clip yeah the font is 130 and the color is red so let's make it and write welcome to planet up right as for its position it depends let's let's center it even in the middle then make sure it has shadow with a, a background uh, that is a bit transparent and then make sure the line spacing Line spacing make it yeah line spacing make it negative 50 okay and uh, let's leave it like that for now right now we need to drag this first red line over here and the second one now we want our clip should be around seven seconds so I'm going to drag this one a little bit. Right click over here, insert another video track. Uh, I'll add two actually. Then I'll drag this one a little bit above and this one above too. Now let's drag our text. Well, yeah. Make the same length as the others. Now let's pick let's pick the first the first red line and right click insert effect transform then you go to effects and <coughs> at the first point we need to make sure that the dimensions are correct is the width is 50 and the height is 300 right now we want to position it uh, right before that let's do it that's the second one I set the size of the second one right click it insert effect transform and right the first point set its width to 50 and its height to 300 great now let's position them got the first one 
at the beginning we want to position this one at the middle now our screen is full hd so the width is 1920 and that being 1920 1920 divided by 2 it gets 960 and our line is as a width of 50 so you should position it at 9 9 10 right on the x-axis position this one at 9 9 10 right and then the second one position it at uh, at 960 exactly 960 great now they are adjacent to each other and they seem like a, a one wide line okay now as for horizontal positioning let's let's put this in we want it to start from the bottom so let's make it disappear the, height, the entire height of the screen is 1080 so let's push it with 10 1080 and then to the second one as well drop it with 1080 right now we want to animate it so we go to the first second we add a keyframe and we want to position this one in the middle of the screen so the entire screen height should be 1080 1080 and our the height of our line is 300 so subtract 300 you get 780 780 divided by 2 you get 390 our line should be at 390 from the top or 390 from the bottom so let's keep it 390 and we do that to the second one the second keyframe right so this is the second keyframe great now let's go to the third keyframe and add a keyframe over there and this one we want it to move to the left and the other one to move to the right so this is line one so we want our text to cover a width of around 900 and height of 300 now if you take 900 and divide it by 2 you get 450 so we need to push line 1 to the left by 450 and line 2 to the right by 450 now line 1 is already it's at 910 and you want to move it to the left by 450 so you subtract 450 and here you get is 4 460 so let's move at this point we want on the x-axis line 1 to be at 460 and then make sure the interpolation make it discrete right because we want it to move there and settle right then let's go to line 2 and do the same add a keyframe over here and it's at 960 we want to push it to the right by 450 so you add 960 plus 450 you get 1410 so at that point we need on the exercise should be at 14 10 then make sure the interpolation is uh, discrete give three seconds for the text to appear on the screen then after that we want to bring them back again so we add a keyframe over there so on the fourth keyframe we want to keep line one at uh, at 460 right we're giving the duration for this one to stay still right so we keep it right there and line two to be at 1410 then 2 to be at 14, 10, right? Then on the 5th keyframe is when we start to move it. So we add the 5th keyframe and move this one back to 960. And line 1, move it back to 910. Then finally at the end we want to drop it. And in order to drop it we move it to we move the Y coordinate to 1080 for it to drop and do the same to line 2 as well at the keyframe at the end and then drop it to 1080 right so now if I play this one you see it will move it pops up moves to the right then 3 seconds back together and it drops great now that part 1 is done now let's go to the text let's go to this point when the two lines are wide apart right now we need to go 
back to editing right and select our text edit clip right so at this point we want to move this line to this word text to be the middle exactly and center it then we now we want to add a bit of background right I will center it I'm trying to make sure it's the same height as the two lines then I will center it as for the color we want to be a bit transparent and whitish in summer then now we need to send it behind the words click over here to lower it and there it is now one more and one thing let's center it a little bit great now let's update that and leave it alone now let's get back to the text and then right click on the title clip and insert effect transform go to effects at the beginning when the two lines are at the bottom we want our text to be invisible so we change opacity to zero right now on the first key the second keyframe still keep it at zero because the two bars are still together then the third keyframe add a third keyframe and right there we want the opacity to make the whole text visible right for the next one two three seconds let it be stay visible we add the fifth keyframe and let it stay visible then the next keyframe the fifth one now add a keyframe we want it to to hide when the two bars come together so that you know when the two bars start to close in the text disappears right great and finally at the end we add a keyframe and still make sure it's invisible now there's one thing left here right at this point when at this point when the two lines are wide apart we want to add some a bit of masking so we go to alpha add alpha shapes mask we add a mask and make this mask to cover the whole text now let's make the size of the canvas to be around 232 and then positioning on the y-axis make it to 500 and on the y-axis make it 500 as well now also we need to remove this right and clear and make it make it let's move the whitish color and make it like just the texture up here alone right so now all those changes were made at this certain keyframe so let's activate that keyframe now when we go back to the first keyframe when the text should not be visible we want the, the position to remain the same but the size of the canvas to be this canvas to be zero then we move over here to the second keyframe and make sure that still the size of the canvas is still at zero since there's no text being displayed and then when it starts to open now the canvas opens together with the with the text great and the fourth fourth keyframe is about here still keep the, the the canvas wide open then on the fifth keyframe when the two lines come together we want the canvas to shrink as well so make it size x to zero and at the end as well make a keyframe and keep the size at zero now i believe we are done with this one i'll go back to editing back to editing and try to edit so i'll go back to editing and then adjust a few things here and there so now if i play this one this is what i should appear the line appears separates text appears and then closes together and drops there's only one thing left is to add a background let's remove let's forget about the black right 
the background you can for the background you can either put a image or a video whichever you prefer uh, let's try an image right then I'll drop this image at the bottom All right if I play this let's remove the selections and if I play and yeah that's it um uh, thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and like the video catch you guys on the next one